Alright, so I got some problems with my weed burner, so I'm just gonna put some greased up butcher paper up in here. going on so welcome back to the channel so in this video I'm smoking up some big old beef short ribs on the mill scale 94 gallon offset smoker um, pretty straightforward simple cook not really much to say about it except for check it out guys here we go all right guys so for the rub if you can see that it's about 60 40 70 30 kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper give or take on the ratio a little bit more black pepper in there I'm just gonna throw a few tablespoons of some granulated garlic, and that's gonna be it. All right, so there's our beef short ribs right there. Three bone, full plate ribs. Got the membrane on the back. A lot of people like to take that off. I'm just gonna leave it on. Um, either way, really doesn't make a difference, I don't think. And it looks like they already trimmed it up a good amount. There's just some surface fat on there. I'm just gonna leave it. It's gonna render off. There's probably a little bit of silver skin under there, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna season this up. There's a good amount of moisture on here. Everything should stick. Should be okay. And I know there's really no purpose to season in the bottom, but I'm still gonna season it. It's all good. So there it is, all seasoned up, looking good. We've got the cooker coming up to temperature. We've got that post oak wood burning. We're gonna get this thrown on, and I'll see you guys outside. All right guys, so we're at just about 300 degrees. Uh, the fire's kind of settled in a little bit. I'm gonna get this on the grate right now. Going center grate, got a water pan right there, got the meat on, and this is probably gonna go for about seven, eight hours. I might wrap this around five hours just depending on what the bark looks like, but, so I'm just gonna shut it down for right now, and we're gonna check back on it every hour, hour and a half, and we should be good. So we're like hour and a half in. We're holding between 275 and 300 degrees. That's what we're looking like so far. Looking a little toasty around the edges. Let's give a little spritz. So, while those short ribs are finishing up, I'm gonna make a little mashed potatoes. I'm gonna get these all about the same size. These are Yukon Gold potatoes, which are the best potatoes to use in my opinion. They're all cut about the same size, just so they cook evenly. Out. I'm going to generously salt this, bring those up to a boil, 
till they're fork tender. Potatoes are done. So I strained them. Get yourself a ricer, or you can get yourself a food mill also will work. But basically this will make the creamiest, smoothest mashed potatoes ever. So get one of these. All you gotta do is put a few in at a time. These are small. All right, I got a bunch of Kerrygold butter. All ingredients are approximate. Put whatever amount you wanna put in. I got two sticks, which is a crazy amount of butter, but I want some creamy ass potatoes. So that's what we're looking like. Sour cream. Some warm, heavy cream. Mix that up. Bunch of salt, some pepper, and some green onions. And get those green onions in there. Tastes amazing. All right, so there we go. After eight and a half hours on the smoke, these things were temping out at like 185, and usually you're looking for something around 200 degrees, but these are super tender. I mean, the probe was just going in. Super easy. So these are done. Never wrapped them, just left them on the smoke. And usually with the beef short ribs, I never usually wrap them up. I got a good bark on there. Maybe it's a little too dark, but it should be all right. So there it is guys, a heart attack waiting to happen. Probably thinking what kind of asshole puts mashed potatoes on a sandwich? This asshole right here. I got habanero jack cheese on there with the short ribs, with the potatoes, on the brioche bun. Holy shit. Amazing. I mean it's beef short ribs. I don't gotta tell you how good that is. That mill scale is awesome. Ton of smoke flavor on there. And you get a little bit of kick from that uh, habanero jack that I melted on there. I mean, usually, you know, habanero jack, it just seems kind of gimmicky or whatever, but it's got a little kick to it. Smoky, beefy, buttery. Ton of butter in those mashed potatoes with the green onions. There's a mess. There it is, guys. Smoke short ribs on the mill scale 94 gallon offset smoker. Came out good, eight and a half hours. It was between 250 and 275, maybe a little bit higher sometimes, but all in all, came out great. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.